Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're just coming across my video for the first time, I'm Erica Choma by name. Please do well to subscribe, like, comment, and share. On today's video, I'll be showing you how I made this delicious stew recipe. Let's get straight into it. In a pot, I already have my washed meat in this pot. So next, I like to go in with my onions to parboil my meat. So here I have my onion in there. And next, I'll go in with my thyme. This thyme really helps to give your meat a very delicious flavor. It helps it to taste delicious. Next, I'll go in with my shallots. So this is basically dry onion. So I'll just add a little bit in there, like so. And I'll give it a huge stir, a very good stir. Uh, at this point, I am not adding water. I won't be adding water at this point. I'll let it simmer a bit. I'll let them simmer, marinate into each other before going in with my water. Then now I've added my seasoning cube. Next, I'll go in with my salt, like so. So be careful so your meat will not be too salty. So now I have my salt in there. I'll just give it a good stir. I'll just give it a good stir. And cover and let it boil for a few minutes before I go in with my fish. At this point, my meat has uh, been steaming for a while. So it's time to go in with a little bit of water so as to be able to extract my meat stock. So I'll just go in with a little bit of water like so and stir. And next I'll go in with my fish. Yes, because I really like fish in my stew. So I'll go in with my fish and just let it cook too alongside with the meat. I'll go in with all of it and let it cook alongside with my meat. So I won't be stirring it because I don't want it to break. Yes, I don't want it to break. So I'll just cover it and let it boil. In my already heated pot, I have my granite oil. So my oil has been um, heating for a while. Next, I would like to go in with my with my onion and bay leaf. So I'll go in with my onion and bay leaf. I'll give it a stir and let it fry for a while. So the essence of going in with this onion and bay leaf at this point is so that if your oil is not too sweet or is having an awful taste or Order. This will help. Um, this will help give it a better taste and order. So at this point, I've gone in with my bay leaf and onions. Next, I like to go in with my tomato paste. So I'll just go in with my tomato paste at this point and give it a good fry. Yes, I like to fry my tomato paste first before my fresh tomato so i'll just give it a good stir and let it so my tomato paste has been frying for a while so it's time to go in with my tomato mix so in here i have my shombo and um shombo should be long pepper right uh -huh. so i have my shombo i have my fresh tomato so i'll just give this a good stir and let it fry for some minutes. My tomato has been boiling for a while, so I'll just give it a good stir and go in with my spice. So for this, I'll rely. I'll like to use onga stew. So I'll be using onga stew for this. Next, I'll go in with my pepper. I'll go in with my blended pepper. And give it a good stir. Next, I'll go in with my meat stock. Ouch. So, I'll be going in with my beef stock. And I'll stir gently. Whoosh. At this point, the aroma in here is giving all and more. So, for more spice, 
I'll go in with my curry powder. Yes, I like, I just like the aroma that comes from curry powder. So I'll add a little bit of it in here and give it a good stir. So while we stir that, I just like to go in with basically all my dry ingredients at this point so as to let them simmer and marinate each other in there. So right now, it's time to go in with my seasoning cube. I'll be using two seasoning cubes. I don't really like much because I have I've added some um, to the meat stock. So I'll just add a little more. So I'll go in with my seasoning cube like so. Now that I've added my seasoning cube, I like to go in with more shallots. I like to go in with more shallots. This shallot tastes amazing in your stew. After that, I'll go in with my salt. Salt to taste, please. Be easy with your salt. So now, I've added the quantity of salt. I know that will be enough for this. So while we do that, I've, I'm going to add, I'm going to go in with my parboiled meat. Here is my parboiled meat. So I'll just go in with my parboiled meat. I like to add it at this point so as the test of this stew to enter, enter every part of this meat. <laughs> so I like to add it and just stir and let it cook for, for more minutes. Wow, my stew has been boiling for a while and uh, right now it's time to go in with my fish. So I have my parboiled fish here. I like to go in with it at this point so as to retain it, to avoid it breaking. So I'll just give it a gentle stir. I'll stir gently, stir gently and gently. <laughs> so at this point, Wow, my stew is ready. So guys, at this point, if you've not subscribed, please do well to subscribe to my channel. Turn on the post notification bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. Like, share, and comment. At this point, my, my stew is ready. So it's time to dish it. Um, I want you to tell me what you're preparing this way. 